two weeks ago, Nigerian Twitter dragged Shay Shay. Guys, they dragged her by her bra. She was trending number one on the trends list. If you do not know who Shay Shay is, she is supposed to be a Nigerian music artist, a female Nigerian music artist. Um, I don't know if she still sings, but she featured in a movie um, last year, and I actually really, really liked the movie, Lara and the Beat. I really liked the movie. Um, the movie featured um, Vector. I really liked the movie. Emphasis on, I really liked the movie. I saw a different angle to her of how talented she is. And so whilst people were dragging her on Twitter, I decided to go check out the reason. And then it turned out that she is one of the judges, one of the three judges and the only female judge on um, the current ongoing um, Nigerian idols. Um, if you don't know what Nigerian Idol is, it's a music talent hunt TV show. Um, people like Timmy Dakolo, I think, or Maomi also emerged from that platform. Okay, it's something similar to MTN Project Fame, MTN Yellow Star Show, the likes of it, and then The Voice, which is also ongoing. Mm -hmm. So, people were dragging her. I decided to go and find out why people were dragging her. And it turned out that um, it was as a result of a statement or a comment that she made whilst criticizing the performance, the few seconds performance of one of the contestants of the show. So I listened to the comments she made. I listened to what she said to the young man and I couldn't really say anything. I couldn't really feel any kind of way because one, I did not watch the show. In fact, I've not been watching the show. In fact, I'm not interested in the show. <laughs> I've not been watching the show. Zero interest in the show. Yes, probably because they are still at the audition stage. They haven't really gone into the actual performances yet. So I and I've been too busy to even follow up with the show. So I couldn't really say anything. I couldn't really even have an opinion about why people were dragging her. For me, mm, it's just the usual Nigerian Twitter banters. Nigerian Twitter can basically trend anything. So while I was reading people's tweets, I was just cracking up. And then it made me recall when I was still reviewing the MTN Yellow Star show. Guys, if you remember, I made mention of the fact, the concrete fact, that for most of these um, TV shows, especially the ones that have to do with um, talent hunt, you find that that the caliber of judges, the kind of judges that they put together, there's always a blend in personalities. There's always um, a mix in personalities. You find that that one of the judges might be very, very nice and kind. The other one might be very, very sarcastic, savage, crazy, you know, and then the other one will be the balance between the two extreme personalities of the judges. You can see a very, very clear example in um, American Idols, which honestly, frankly, sincerely, guys, I have a strong feeling that these Nigerian Idol judges are simply trying to emulate. I mean, they're trying to follow the exact same format of the American Idol judges. But it's funny how people do not see that. And just as we have the Simon, is it Simon Cowell or Powell, whatever his name is, but Simon of the American Idol, guys, Shay Shay is obviously playing the role of Simon in Nigerian Idol. That is what I saw, guys, because um, this last weekend, Saturday, I decided for the first time to watch the show. I just wanted to see what the rave and the craze was all about. I wanted to see why people were dragging her. And then guys, to be honest, I really understood why people were really dragging Shay Shay. Shay Shay pissed me off. I think it was on Sunday. She really pissed me off. Now, on Sunday's episode of the Nigerian Idol, the audition, there was this particular young girl that came to sing. I think her name was Beyonce. I don't know if that's her real name or if that's her stage name. She's from Port Harcourt and from the little um, background that they gave about her on the show that day, her dad was a famous singer. It's funny how I never knew or never heard of that name, probably in the early 80s. I don't know because me I'm a 90s baby so this girl sang I don't know what she sang I don't know the song she sang but in my opinion what she sang was not really spectacular there wasn't anything special about what she sang or how she sang it for me she just sang 
just something basic. I mean, it was just a very, very bland performance. Although, um, towards the end of her performance, she tried to add some flair to it. But for me, it didn't really work because, hey, you had your chance to actually put all that effigy at the beginning of your performance, you know, even though it was just for a few minutes. And when, guys, I will tell you a number of factors that I noticed as well. Now, this girl, she sang. Number one, look at this girl. She has very, 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 very white skin. <laughs> yes, she has very, very, very white skin. And the way she talks, she talks in a very, very soft tone. She's very pretty, very, very pretty. Has natural hair. Very, very pretty young girl. I think 16, that was what she called her age. Yes, although she did not look 16 at all. She looked older than 16. You know, so already her look, already her outlook, yes, was already a plus for the judges so what's this guy's name dj so say shay shay and the other man i can't really remember his name i'm sorry guys i told you guys i'm not following the show at all the three of them they were already smitten by the way she looks by her innocence presumed innocence because she looks very very innocent they were already smitten by the fact that oh your dad or your parents they used to be famous music stars i don't know whether in nigeria or wherever you know, they were already smitten. So even though her performance wasn't really wow, in my opinion, you could see how the judges were clamoring like, oh, wow, that was beautiful. She's a natural. She's so wonderful. Oh, Shay Shay was already saying, I love her already. I love her already. DJ Sose was like, oh, right now, I can't wait to see more of what she's got to offer. I'm looking at these people like this. And guys, to be honest, from what I saw that day, everything all the accolades they were giving to this girl it wasn't even because of what she sang or even how she sang it it was obviously because she had the look of one that could be the next generation's beyonce or Nicki minaj or one of those famous pop stars she had the look she had the skin you could see her figure she had this fine body she had the the fine figure you know she looked pretty and this one when you touch her up a bit she will look very very hot and sexy so i was just looking at people just groveling at her feet you know and they were like oh you know it suits the mark one of the judges even said that um uh your name is beyonce your father used to be a famous music star blah 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 who knows you might be the next beyonce and i'm like okay hold up a second is this now the criteria for people to be qualified to be on a um, Nigerian ad Idol show. Like, what is really the criteria? And then, of course, just as expected, they gave her a golden ticket, meaning, yes, they gave her a yes, they gave her a pass into the game. But then, it made me pissed. And <laughs> the funny thing that happened was, my in-law called me up straight up. My in-law is a fan of most of these Nigerian reality TV shows, TV shows, anyone, because he enjoys having conversations about them with me. So he called me up immediately, was like, did you see what just happened? That is rubbish. That is crap. Why would they give her a golden ticket? She did not deserve my in-law was just raving like, I was just laughing and I'm like, bros, I saw what happened. And he was like, how dare they? That there were other people that even did better than her and these people are just banking on the fact that, oh, because she's light skinned, you know? And guys, listen, let's be very, very frank about this, yeah? You cannot tell me that there is no light-skinned privilege in the entertainment industry in Nigeria. These people make it so obvious, so disgustingly obvious, guys. I was very, very pissed that day. I was just so disgusted. I'm like, okay, no wonder they drag Shay Shay. Shay Shay, you totally deserve the dragon. And somehow, somehow, I don't know, a lot of people haven't really noticed, but Shay Shay's opinion is very, very strong on that judge, um, judge's team yeah sometimes when she says she likes someone like half the time you find that the other two dudes they flow with our own preference oh, this, excuse this. they flow with our own preference for a contestant you know but that day guys i just saw i just saw how that privilege that white skin privilege worked for that girl beyonce and i felt really really sad and although it seemed like the rest of the people that actually got golden tickets from the judges it felt like 
the judges were trying to make up for their choice that they had made with Beyonce and so they were nice enough to give at least one other girl who was more Nigerian by the color of her skin by the way she sang by what she sang so they gave her a golden ticket I'm like <laughs> okay trying to balance the scale yeah I see you people I see you people Anyways, thanks to Shay Shay and the other judges, I am looking forward to seeing what that girl Beyonce is going to do on the show. I am looking forward to seeing how she's going to perform. I'm looking forward to seeing if she's that if she's really that talented, you know, because the way these people hyped her on that day, I was just like, okay, let's wait and see. Let's watch and see. Anyways, guys, I just thought I should drop that small rant there because it was something that really, really pissed me and my in-law off on that sunday we just were, were just blurring off but if you have been following the nigerian idol show guys let me know what you think about the show so far in the comment section below if you watched that particular episode on sunday what is your perspective what was your reaction when that beyonce girl got the golden ticket from the judges let me know about it all in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on another episode of frankly speaking with glory thanks for watching have an amazing amazing day bye